Hey everyone, so thanks for joining me again on another drive-by photography episode. I'm really having a lot of fun these past couple of weeks, and I'm really happy to be able to share that experience I've been having with you guys. It's just a very relaxing thing for me to go out and just do photography. Uh, which, you know, kind of reminds me of something I hear all the time when I'm watching these uh, YouTube photography channels to, you know, improve your photography and take better pictures. But the theme that they keep saying is, the thing that I hear a lot is, the camera is just a tool, and it's really the person behind the camera or the end result that is all that matters, you know, understanding composition and lighting and all of that. And all of that's, but, you know, and all of that is true, right? But honestly, for me, I mean, it's, it's been kind of rubbing me the wrong way lately, that statement. Because for me, I draw inspiration from my camera as well. I love shooting with a beautiful camera, and that's partially what drew me to the Olympus line. though there they none of them worked <laughs> but uh, God, there's there's so many homes here along the road that are like in disrepair and run down that photographically would be wonderful but it's people are living there it's like they're private property so I can't really just go up there and take a picture of it but there is a house up here on the right that I want to get a shot of that I think I can get from the, the street Damn it, I drove right by the house. Now I gotta turn around. I was looking at the liquor store over there. Those are always kind of fun to get a picture of. frame this right through the car window. The framing is just right too. I really appreciate the feedback you guys are giving me on my vlogs. You know, I just like to get out and drive around and take pictures and hopefully uh, improve my photography and just take you guys along for the journey. And like I said on my 100th episode, that's really why I started this channel. Just to follow my uh, adventures while I go out and take pictures. saw the sign for like fresh seafood and I said well if there's fresh seafood there's got to be water and sure enough I wonder if there's some place I can park here 
I don't know why. Look at this old car here. I'm gonna get a picture of this. Maybe we'll go in a bar and have a drink. How about that? <laughs> Let's be adventurous. Finding fresh seafood is it's got to be near the water. If you're landlocked and you see a sign for fresh seafood and you're like 300 miles from the closest shore, yeah, it's not fresh. <laughs> I didn't eat anything tonight because I'm going to go to this uh, 1950s diner but uh, and, and get a milkshake. I'm going to do like Pulp Fiction, right? <laughs> when they had that milkshake. It's one of my favorite scenes in that movie was when John Travolta and Uma Thurman ordered a milkshake and it was like $5. And John Travolta's like, $5 for a milkshake? But then he tried it and he's like, man, that's a good effing milkshake. <laughs> You're seeing the pictures now before I am, where I am at now, but I'm seeing them before you because I have to make and edit the video.